Hello everyone, my name is Azza True. how are you? And welcome to another Star Wars Battlefront 2 video of mine. And in this video, I cannot wait to share with you the secrets of the Naboo Generator Room. We are going to be exploring this map together and there's some really awesome stuff to come, I'm sure, because this is a beautiful map. It may be the smallest map in Star Wars Battlefront 2, but it looks fantastic and it's one of my favorite maps. You can only play this map in Heroes vs. Villains right now, but I would love to see a potentially extended version or at least this brought into something like Blast. It would work really, really well in Blast. Let's start off with the hangar part of this map because it's just over half of the map itself. There's three different sections in this map, but this is the main one. And as you can see, there is a lot of M1 starfighters that look gorgeous. And inside this Naboo ship, there is nothing to be seen, unfortunately. It's a beautiful ship, though. It's one of my favorite ones from the prequel trilogy. And behind the glass windows, there is actually some space, which allows you to peek through into the other areas of the map. Same goes for underneath in the floor. If you go under, you can see what's outside and around the place. Now behind this wall, where there is actually a gap that shouldn't be there, I don't think, there is a bit of a room, but not a room. It doesn't have four walls, but it does have a door and it does have some sort of corridor to it. It's definitely textured, as you can see. It's got a roof, it's got a floor, kind of, but I had to light it up using the cinematic tool's light, so it would be super dark otherwise, but it's there. Then we have a random plane that is textured that's sticking out, and I did illuminate it with some lights to showcase it, but it's kind of random that it's there. Now let's take a look at this part of the map. This is in the middle of the map, and there's a couple of staircases, and underneath the staircases there is pretty much nothing. But I've always wondered what this object is on the floor. It's interesting it should not be there really it's just random and you know we have the statues we have the lights we have the marble and rock it's a beautiful part of the map now in between the two walls here there's actually a space in between them which is kind of odd because it goes all the way to the bottom all the way to the roof i don't know why but it's there Now, in the ceiling of the hangar, you can get a better view of the different areas, including that all-important generator room, which we'll be taking a look at shortly. So in the generator room, there's a lot going on. There is a lot of platforms which we can't access, but they go all the way down, quite far down to the bottom of this map, all the way to the top. Now, if you go down in below the floor, you can actually see that it keeps going all the way down to a plane which has some grass on and then some water. It's just where the map's positioned. There's no reason why this is anything significant. But if you go all the way back up, you'll see all the platforms again. Now, where the map boundary is, there is the infamous room where Qui-Gon Jinn and Darth Maul are killed. And we've got the energy doors that, 
you know, they don't do anything, they look fantastic, and they have the exact same look from The Phantom Menace, but they don't do anything, sadly. And they also don't make much noise, or any noise at all, which is a missed opportunity. But then again, you can't actually go up to these in the map. It would have been awesome to be able to go up to them, right? And have them open and close, but no. And then we finally have the part where Obi-Wan does kill Darth Maul, and Darth Maul kills Qui-Gon. But it's fairly shallow. I've shown this maybe four months, five months ago off in a separate video. So if you are new to my channel, you will not know this is, you know, it's quite disappointing. But if you've already seen my previous video from like five, six months ago, you will know that this is what you expected. It's pretty shallow and there's nothing there. I was hoping at least for a lightsaber Easter egg to be there. That would have been cool. But no, we didn't get anything. Not even Darth Maul's legs. Now let's take a look at what's outside the map because we have a small sort of shoebox shape which has the hangar in, but then we also have this huge generator room which is just in another black-ish grey box. It's very plain, there's no texture to it pretty much. Although we do have that wall texture plane which is just for some reason there. Then we also have some lights that are below. I don't know why they're there. They've probably been left over. They don't have any purpose. You can't see them. But if we go to the front of the hangar, we do see some rocks which are sort of just placed anywhere, really, just so it looks realistic. I mean, from where you'll be playing, you can't tell how it's been made, but when you look outside, you can see that it's not very perfect, but it looks great from when you're actually playing the game. So if we head outside the map, we can see where the palace for feed as well as a lot of the buildings we can play on on the map feed would be but they're all disappeared it's just pretty flat and it's just got one texture all the way through it's got some water and leaves and this is probably a really early version of feed before it really got made this is before all the buildings were in place we've got some sort of terrain going on but it's very low and all of this is probably, you know, months before we actually got any sort of palace building on the map. Now, if we head into where the waterfall would be, which there is no waterfall because for some reason, I mean, I suppose it's because we can't see it, it isn't there, but there's water, you know, there's water under the maps. But most importantly, why is there rebellion transports? Under the map, there's two of them. Now, this is very similar to the X-Wings we've seen on other maps, like on Starkiller and Akar. But why on earth is there Rebellion transport troops on a prequel era map, just under the map? Uh, you know, they've probably been left behind, but interesting nevertheless, just like all of the other times we've seen ships that just, just shouldn't be there. Now... At the front of this waterfall, we know that there's a bit of, like, airfield, and we really hoped there should have been a map on this part for Blast or whatnot. I explored this in my Naboo video, and we actually get the exact same sort of, I would say, polygon count as the one seen in the Galactic Assault map, yet it's on an angle and nowhere near the waterfall. It's not... it's actually going into the mountain. I don't know why that is. Let's take a look at these really low poly starfighters. There's literally nothing to see there, but they do fly around the map shooting, which is pretty cool. That's it for the video today. I hope you enjoyed this video. This is exploring the Naboo generator room, which is the smallest map on Battlefront 2, but one a lot of us do love to play on in Heroes vs. Villains. Thank you very much for watching and drop a like if you enjoyed this video. Comment below what find in this map did you enjoy the most. Remember to vote in the top right hand corner what map you want to see me do in the next exploration video and check out any of the two previous videos on screen, I'd really appreciate it. I shall see you all in my next Star Wars Battlefront 2 video, goodbye.